Hey guys, it's Cameron from Mountie C7 Owners, and most of you watching this are going to know me from my YouTube channel that does car videos and DIYs, things like that. But today I'm coming to you on a completely different topic. Uh, most of you know that I live in North Carolina. I've been a lifelong resident of North Carolina, grown up here on the East Coast. I've gone through well over 30 varying tropical storms from depressions, tropical storms to hurricanes. I went firsthand through Hurricane Fran and Floyd, some of the worst ones that have ever hit here. Florence impacted my community. Um, I have seen the generosity of others when our community has been devastated over and over. And right now my home state is seeing probably the worst natural disaster North Carolina has ever experienced. And I'm gonna guess that more than likely one of the worst natural disasters that the country has ever seen. Uh, Hurricane Helene came up through the Gulf and into the Panhandle of Florida, through Georgia, into North Carolina, Tennessee. And the devastation that is happening in Western North Carolina and Eastern Tennessee is not even comprehensible at this point. Uh, my family lives in an area called Burnsville, North Carolina, which is about an hour northeast of Asheville. Um, personally, I had to wait five days to find out if my family was safe. I just found out today. Uh, the storm really started affecting things there Thursday, it's Monday, and I just found out today that my family is safe and sound, and I'm so incredibly thankful for that, but there's a massive amount of other people who cannot say the same thing. If you're unaware of what's going on there, uh, entire towns have been wiped from the earth from the massive amounts of flooding that Western North Carolina has experienced as a result of this storm. They're still experiencing infrastructure failures. Most cities in these rural areas are poor communities and they don't have cell service, Wi-Fi, running water or electricity. And many of them don't have supplies to, to survive on their own for an extended amount of time. For those that do have those things, they're incredibly fortunate, but it's just not the case. There are thousands of people missing. There are feared going to be over a thousand people killed as a result of this storm, and they desperately need supplies. That's why I'm reaching out to everyone today. I'm going to be starting a GoFundMe, which you can find in a link of this video or any of my social medias, including my Facebook page. And if you're unfamiliar, it's gonna be facebook.com slash audi 7 owners instagram.com slash audi 7 owners youtube.com slash audi 7 owners and I'm also on TikTok under the same handle. But I'm gonna start a GoFundMe. I'm setting the first goal at $2,000, and what I'm trying to do is raise money to purchase medical supplies. Um, we're getting a lot of donations in my hometown of food and things like that, but in speaking with some law enforcement contacts that I have out in these remote areas, the hospitals have been destroyed or the resources have been stretched incredibly thin. And one of their main requests that they're hearing from people is to send life-saving first aid supplies out there. And these are simple things like we call stop the bleed kits. Basically what's happening is there are people that are very injured, but not to the degree that they can send them to a hospital to use the very limited resources they have, but they're still injured and they needed to be treated. In my hometown here of Wilmington, North Carolina, right outside of town, there's a company called Rescue Essentials, and I've worked with them before on some other projects in my personal life, and they're incredible. They are a medical first aid supply distribution company. They supply companies like North American Rescue and uh, some other well-known companies like that. They have a massive warehouse, and they have a ton of supplies that they're already trying to get a donation package organized for to send out to the West. But I spoke with them today, and they're going to be able to sell me first aid supplies at a very good discount. And so I'm appealing to my Audi community, my car community, to please, please think about donating to this GoFundMe. Uh, I'm going to start off, like I said, at $2,000. Uh, if I get past that, amazing. You know, we can keep pushing that goalpost because everything counts. And what I'm gonna do, uh, you know, as I can, as I get donations, I'm gonna go over there and I'm going to purchase as many first aid supplies as I can. I'm gonna try and create kits that can be distributed easily into these remote areas of Western North Carolina. If you don't know this, my day job, I'm an air traffic controller with the Federal Aviation Administration. And so I have a unique ability to be able to help get these supplies into areas that need them. I've already been speaking with multiple pilots and pilot organizations that are already flying supplies into these remote areas. And I, I feel like I have a unique ability and a duty to be able to get these supplies to people that really, really need them. So 
I am asking you guys to please think about helping these people that need so much help right now and they're going to need it not even just for months on end. It will likely take years for things to get back to normal, but we can give them a really good head start. The mountains are going into the winter season. And so if you're not going to donate with me, think about finding another organization to donate to because they're eventually going to be needing winter clothes and supplies, everything from clothes to food to hygiene products, things like that. I'm starting this one out to buy first aid supplies. If we get a lot of that, maybe we'll change it and buy some other much needed supplies as I'm hearing from people that are actually on the ground there. I'll keep you guys updated through this campaign, through the GoFundMe, of course. I'll try and get some videos of things as they're happening. Um, obviously here throughout this video, you're seeing some of the devastation that occurred there in the area. But uh, if you guys, you know, you, you get coffee once or twice a week, that's 10 or $20 maybe that 10 or $20 can buy a massive amount of first aid supplies. So please think about uh, donating to the campaign. If you cannot donate to the campaign, all I ask is you take two seconds to share this video to your Instagram story, your TikTok, your Facebook, whatever you have, please help get the word out and let's really try and help out our uh, fellow people out here in Western North Carolina, Eastern Tennessee and uh, Georgia, South Carolina, wherever we can get these supplies to people. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you have any questions, questions or anything like that, obviously leave them in the comments and I'll keep you guys updated. Thank you.